So bees that produce honey have to find the most efficient way possible to store it because they, once they've gathered it all up, it takes a lot of work to produce and so they need to store it in the most energy efficient way to save um, all their effort and to make sure they maximise the space in their hive. So bees following um, the rule of sort of laziness in nature in that nobody wants to expend more energy than they have to. If I want to walk to the other side of the room, I do it directly, I don't zigzag to get there. So bees make um, a, a structure to store their honey in called a honeycomb and they do that by making the easiest possible shape and the one that makes maximum use of the space. So the shape in nature that is the most compact um, it's the shape that you would probably make if I gave you a ball of plasticine and asked you to squish that into the smallest shape possible. The shape you'd probably make is a ball. And so we can see examples of how that works in nature. If you look at things like planets and bubbles, they naturally form these circle or sphere shapes. So they form ball shapes. So you might think that the most efficient shapes for bees to store their honey in would be in little beads. So what we'll do now is have a go at making our very own bead honeycomb using these Hydra beads or ore bees. So we can have a look here. So if we have a volunteer to come and describe what they can see. So looking down now on the top of our, our ore bee honeycomb, what shapes can you see in there and are they fitting together perfectly or are there gaps? There are gaps, they're all spheres and they don't fit together. Yeah. So that is what would happen if bees decided to store their honey um, in little bead shapes, then there would end up being wasted space, so there'd be gaps between them. So what we can see now, if we flip this over, like that, turn this over and then start to press down. So what sorts of shapes are being formed now? They're all hexagonal, they all fit together. Yeah. So. The mathematical word that we use for regular shapes that fit together perfectly with no gaps is tessellate. So when bees actually make their own honeycomb, what happens is they end up with these tessellated hexagon shapes. So that is the most efficient shape that you can make with no wasted space. Um, but what's really interesting is that in the, it's only in the last couple of years that we've actually learned how bees make these hexagon shapes. If you've ever tried to draw a regular hexagon, it's actually quite tricky to do. And it's not that bees have got this amazing sense of shape or they haven't sit there and work things out with little protractors or anything. To make something that perfect and that regular, all they actually do is make, they, in, in the wax, they wiggle around and form lots and lots of um, sort of circular chambers all lined together, but they do have gaps. And then it is just the weight of all that wax together compresses down and then forms these perfect hexagons, much like we saw by pressing down on those bead shapes there. And it's only in the last few years that we've actually learned how bees can make perfect hexagonal tessellated honeycombs.